The luckiest holiday of all is almost here. So today I'm going to be showing you four adorable crafts for kids of all ages. We will be making a handprint four leaf clover, a Fruit Loop shamrock necklace, rainbow treat bags, and Lucky Charm leprechaun hats. Back by popular demand is my daughter and right hand crafting partner, Violet. She is going to help demonstrate how easy these crafts are to make. Are you ready to start? All right, she's ready, so let's begin. Today we're gonna to start off by making these super simple and easy rainbow tree bags. All you need to make this is a thin cellophane bag, some Rolos, some of these gummy fruit slices, and a ribbon to tie it together. In the bottom of the bag is our pot of gold. I'm placing six Rolos in three stacks of two. On top of our Rolos, I'll add two gummy fruit slices side by side. Continue stacking the fruit slices on top of each other in a rainbow color formation. You could substitute these gummy fruit slices for another treat. You could use some rainbow licorice, you could use some M&Ms, some Skittles, any candy that has a variety of colors would work perfectly. To further incorporate the rainbow theme, I'm using a color coordinated rainbow ribbon to tie my bag closed. This easy to assemble, inexpensive treat bag is a bright, cheerful gift anyone would be lucky to receive. Next, we'll be making a leprechaun hat filled with Lucky Charms. To make this lucky leprechaun hat, you'll need a small plastic container, Lucky Charm cereal, ribbon, and some small paper squares. I'm using these plastic containers that I got at the Dollar Tree. They came in a package of four, and the reason why I'm using these is because it has a lid so the kids can open it and shut it as many times as they want. And when the lid is shut, the Lucky Charms will be secure inside. I have seen it done with some plastic cups and paper used as the brim. Fill your container with the Lucky Charm cereal or any other St. Patrick's Day themed small treats, and then secure the lid on top. Flip your container upside down so the lid is on the bottom and looks like the brim of the hat. I'm gonna take my green ribbon and I'm gonna wrap it around the perimeter of my container. When I do this, it will give me the length that I need to cut my ribbon. So it's gonna be this long. I'll cut two pieces because I'm gonna make two hats and then I'm gonna hot glue it on. Add a line of hot glue horizontally in the center of the clear part of the container and place the ribbon on the glue. If you're like me, you worry about the little kiddos handling the hot glue. If there isn't an adult around to supervise the hot glue gun, you could use double-sided tape. Add an extra dab of glue to secure your ribbon together. I cut out some square shapes to make the buckle for my hat. I've got two golds and then for the center, I cut out two black and gray striped ones. Simply hot glue the large gold square to the ribbon. Then glue the smaller black square on top of the gold square. These leprechaun hats are so cute, creative, and they're the perfect container for a St. Patrick's Day treat. Next, we're gonna be making a Fruit Loop Shamrock Necklace. You're only gonna need three things to make this necklace. We're gonna need some shamrocks. I got this, it's a package of 12, and I got them at the Dollar Tree. Some Fruit Loops and some thin ribbon. Have you ever made a necklace and gotten to the end where you're almost done and you hold it up to look at it and everything falls off the end? I have. So my solution to that is to safety pin the end of your ribbon or string. It's large enough that when you thread your bead or in this case the fruit loops through, it will hold it in place and it will stay there until you take it off when you're finished. 
Spread out the Fruit Loops and let your little crafters go to work threading the cereal onto the ribbon. When you're halfway done with the necklace, it's time to add the shamrock. So what I've done is I've taken my shamrock and I punched out two holes with a hole punch. And then I'm gonna thread it through. That way it'll face forward and it will lay flat. I chose a green ribbon to match the color of the shamrock. That way when my ribbon is threaded through the holes, the color will blend into my shamrock and be less noticeable. After the shamrock pendant is in place, continue threading on the Fruit Loops to finish the necklace. Once your craft is complete, you can remove the safety pin and tie the necklace on. Now you have a colorful, edible, handmade craft your sweet one can be proud of. Every child is a blessing and I'm so lucky to have so many wonderful little ones in my life. We're going to be putting these little hands on display by making a handprint for leaf clover. I'm using non-toxic finger paint that I got at the Dollar Tree, along with a variety pack of paint brushes that was from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm also using a large piece of cardstock. You could use cardstock or paper, but we need to make sure that there's enough room for four handprints on it. Dip your sponge brush into the paint and generously apply the paint to the hand. Slather the paint from their fingertips to the bottom of the palm. Place their hand palm down and angled in a direction facing the corner of the paper. Press down on top of the hand to ensure you get a full handprint with minimal gaps. Lift the hand straight up so the paint won't smear. Continue the process of painting, pressing, and lifting until you have four handprints. I'm outlining the handprints with a black Sharpie to make the four leaf clover shape more defined. The final step is gluing on a stem. I'm adding a line of hot glue. On top of the glue, I'm placing a sparkly piece of pipe cleaner. You can also do this project on canvas if you wanted a more memorable piece to last for many more St. Patrick's days to come. Cherish the moments you get to spend with your loved ones. Treasure their tiny little handprints. Praise them for their outstanding Fruit Loop threading skills. Give them the opportunity to open and shut their own leprechaun hat container. And give them a colorful and bright treat that's as sweet as they are. I feel so lucky to spend this St. Patrick's Day with such wonderful people. I hope you enjoyed these crafts. Subscribe to my channel and join me for more holiday, decor, food, and design ideas. Thank you for watching.